This is the exact moment that the fissure of the new eruption of the Grindavik volcano, we can call it now Grindavik volcano, started. This is the moment that uh, we had the eruption, a first light, the bang in the darkness of the winter nights uh, of uh, subarctic Iceland. Then, after this, the smoke was rising. This is the uh, fumaroles and gases rising to the atmosphere. And then the fissure appeared from nowhere. Of course, we know where it is. It's Sundunga crater. But more thoroughly, toward the Grindavik, to the south of that fissure, the magma dike that were forming. And the moment that the uh, magma broke through the defensive wall, you can see it here, a market with a line. That's the moment it broke. It just waited with a slight, slightly stopped it doing it, but the, uh, the fissure sliced through it. I have used the term zipper operation many times ago, and now this was the situation that we had, exact situation. I'll play one of the videos just to show what I mean by zipper operation or slicing through. This is the map of the location of the new eruption. As of now, that this is what we know at this moment. It has passed through the wall. The fissure extends through the wall and goes toward the Grindavik. Grindavik will probably be flooded or the extension of the lava may actually reach there. The fissure may reach there. This is the video I'm talking about. I have many videos before that mentioned in this. Reckoness Peninsula of Iceland is full of amazing things, especially for geologists. This is a paradise for studying geology. And today I want to show the pattern of the earthquakes. Early morning, you see that the pattern of earthquakes, the uh, red ones, are the latest ones. And they come from the ocean, hitting the Grindavik, going up the dike toward the Swartzengi, and then all the areas to the east of it, including the Fagadesville, Little Kotor, and the Glacial Lake, and all that, one by one, get the earthquakes. It's a stretching from the sea, then toward the land, then accommodating along the fault lines. This is a stretching, you can see the extension. You can see that the dike and the rift is extending like that every day. It's in a way similar to what I described uh, two years ago in the Fagadesville volcano area, when we have a drop down of the fault line and the magma rises from that face contact of the two fault lines and then reaches the surface. This is the extension of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge creating this. And the drop down of the faults by the extension, you can see the directions by the arrows here, creates this extension, the void that the magma rises to fill up. It's like a zipper. When one opens, the next one has to open next. This is, otherwise, you will not, uh, you will not have a way to accommodate this movement. This is a very interesting phenomenon. We are seeing it in real time. In Iceland, by studying these seismograms on the map, you can see that. And we saw it in the Fagadesville up to the Little Horsor and toward the Kalia. My prediction is that it moves toward the Kalia, gradually to go into the vicinity of Reykjavik. But at the moment, this is what we see in the Grindavik. And that port, that harbor exists because of this zipper action opening up from the ocean toward the land and gradually going towards Sorsengi and the next areas toward the east of it.